Hello, welcome back. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys have been slacking on that recently. Uh, we're back with more Alan Wake 2. And we just saved Tor from uh, the overlap, which was right there. And we need to talk. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The night's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? That's fair. Okay, well, uh, let's talk to him. Let's talk to him. There's a gnat around my... flying around my face. You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? Probably. I mean, yeah. Plus, like, she the the, the darkness just doesn't have the story doesn't have control over her, so she can make her own path. So, man, we just unlocked a ton of stuff there. Okay. Let's go ahead and do my grandfather. You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a bunch more there. We're going to find out a lot. Also, uh, sorry about the language. <laughs> this dude's got a potty mouth. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. Okay, so she was trying to protect her because the mind place could be used for evil, I guess. Or so she thought. I mean, I assume that it could be, so. Alright, now what about our dad? Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. 
with David. I won't stop until they're safe. Oh, you better not. You better not. The clicker. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An app. Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. Okay, so Tom equals Wake. What does that mean? Like, because Tom is obviously... Okay, stop dancing. There we go. Tor is here in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. Language, jeez. Family show, come on. Um, case closed. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Okay, I think I get it. I think I understand. So we're a part of this story and Alan is writing, rewriting the story, but he's writing himself in as Tom, right? Because he knew, like he did the film about uh, the cult and all of that. He knew who was involved. And yeah, so like, okay, I think I get it now because Tor is referring to Tom meaning Alan, and this is a separate reality from what's really real. It's This is the story, and yeah, he wrote himself in as Tom, which makes sense as why do they look alike, just without the beard. Okay, I get it now. I understand. Things are coming together. <laughs> Who boy? Before my father had problems, there was trouble for you. It took me away after that. Um, Probably this. Yep. Was the tour the reason my father left? It sure sounds like it. Mom thought Tor's power was dangerous, didn't want me around it. Okay, so she took us away because she didn't want us to uh, know about our powers. Uh, all Andersons have powers. Nope, this is going to be down here. Yep. They can communicate with me here because they have something similar. Because we're family? Tor and Odin understood the true nature of the mind place. Come on. There we go. Okay. Mind place isn't some mental technique. Uh, there we go. Tori so that one's done there. Can actually speak with me in my mind place. Thanks to their own powers. Yeah, our family is not bound by Wake's story. The Andersons can see through the horror story. Um, that would be... Here? Yeah. There we go. Guess that Tor one's done Odin now. are my relatives. The evidence fits with what I know is true. It's a lot to process. Fingers remorse. Yeah, there we go. Okay. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. Okay. But he is genuinely sorry. He is genuinely sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay. Because Wake wrote the story, only Wake can edit it. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so that Wait one's done. Be the one to rewrite the ending. Okay. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. The clicker. So Wake writes a story. The dark place makes it change reality, and the clicker amplifies that change, making it permanent. Makes sense. So the clicker makes things permanent. <clears throat> no, there we go. Yeah, so we're immune the to story that. Doesn't affect me like it does other people. Because of who I am. Because of my family. Okay, area under overlap is always flooded. So we these are ones that we've already done. Um, how to enter. Okay. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark place's focus on art? There are Wait, literal overlaps between our world and the dark place. Did Wake name all these things? So... Is that it for the overlaps? We don't have to enter another one? Are we done with that? Looks like it. Uh, obviously, there's still a bunch more to do, but maybe no more overlaps? We're still going to have to, like, get rid of... Uh... 
get rid of Scratch, right? I don't know. Thanks, Tor. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, Pappy. Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. A few shots of the Anderson's finest will fix us both up. See you soon, Saga. Yep. The See you soon. is holding Wake at the sheriff's station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake and I have the clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Okay, Bright Falls Station. Okay, so there's another Casey. one. Casey. Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where so, are you, Casey? So Casey's you still missing. Focus, Saga. Get to the station. To Wake. Okay. Oh, that's right. We're, we can just run back there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look around. Because there's still, still some stuff that we've obviously missed. I think over here, there is another gate that we can cut to get back there. Oh, I think I got to go through this. Let's go back through here. Okay, so it's over on this side. Also, I whenever I was editing the last video, I realized that in the basement, I never looked at that projector that was down there. I just left after we turned on the power. So I'm going to do that before we move on to because I really want to see what's on there. It's probably going to have something to do with the things that already happened. But just in case, let's get down here and look at it. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this has to play. Is this just the nightless night? Oh no, this is different. Well... No, it is Nightless Night. Just like a preview for it. Yeah. It's just a preview for it. Okay, well, we didn't miss much, but at least we know now. Okay, let's get back into Bright Falls and find Alan and hopefully Casey. Oh, there's a manuscript page right here that I missed. It's on this bridge, Cynthia's Lamp. Um, we'll go ahead and read that here in a second, but first, um, before we go back to Bright Falls... I believe that we can come through here now. Yes. So what this is going to do is we're going to be able to go from here and just go clear around here. And we're going to collect all the stuff out through here, open all this stuff up, see what we can find. And then we'll get back into uh, Bright Falls. But let's go ahead and take a look at the manuscript page. Wait, where is that at? Manuscript page. There we go. Unread Cynthia's lamp. When Cynthia Weaver was downstairs at breakfast, Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her a while to find the one with an angel. Luckily, the dream Alan had sent her had been very clear. Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. The thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lamp, one of the few things that reminded her of him. It had not worked in a long time with the cord severed and the light switch gone. But there are other kinds of lights than the ones we can see. The invisible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. With tears welling in her eyes, she didn't see the shadows shifting in the corners of her room. Okay, so obviously that's the lamp that Alan has whenever we play as Alan. Also, the whole um, Tom being Alan 
is kind of funny because it's almost like Alan is rewriting this story, but playing into like this love that Cynthia had for him and uh, using that as a way to, you know, I don't really know how that ties in, but it's kind of funny that she's actually been in love with Alan this whole time. So, so all right, we're going to search around here, see what we can find. And then uh, anytime that I find something cool or interesting or important, I will be back with more. lighting up so that could be him hello you're on with pat main hey it's terry i'm at the elderwood palace okay the oh they're talking about the uh the shootout at the the lodge okay um we just got another manuscript page so let's go ahead and take a look at this every night was bingo night at the valhalla nursing home each time rose drew a ball from the cage and called out its number some of the residents shouted bingo no matter what was on their cards some of them sat mute, their cards full, never calling out. Some of them would try to steal the ball from her. Some of them would chastise the others for acting out. It was like herding a clouder of cats. Rose didn't mind. She liked cats. She knew she was where she was supposed to be, with her little Vikings waiting for the hero to come. Tonight, the residents were restless, more so than usual. Ati was wearing Blum's coveralls again. Tor stood by the phone. Too late. Rose saw the hammer in his hand. The garden lights started to flicker. The darkness and rain pressing against the windows. The time drew nigh. Okay, so I'm seeing some cult stuff here. Okay, so there's arrows there. I think we're getting close to the... Uh, the cult stash. Should be around here somewhere. Another there it is. Cult stash. Okay, so what's this? Um, do I just need the screwdriver? No? Okay, so there's nothing that I have. So we're going to have to find that key then. Okay. Obviously this is just... Are these pointing us? No, I think they're pointing us just to the stash itself. It's a noise. A noise. Anyway, I'm going to look around for the key. Um, I don't think we can get up there. Oh, maybe we can. Okay. Oh. It's a paint bucket. Just leave all, leave all the evidence there. So close to this place, too. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going down towards the other uh, stashes. And what's this? Bunkerwood stash key. Oh. Well. Okay. Can I climb up this? No. No, oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Good, good. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So I don't need that, but I do need this. You can't hide from the trees. We are everywhere. Okay. Whatever you say, you chungus. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so there's like a cabin up here. Not like a, there is a cabin or some kind of barn. I need to stop saying like and um so much. Hello? Toolbox. Uh, I'll take the ammo. I'll need the, well, I kind of need the painkillers right now. Let's actually take those and use them because I realize our health is pretty low. That's better. Okay, cool. <sighs> Guess that was all that was in here. Ati and the janitors. Oh, <laughs> it's the. Okay, cool. Um, so we've got this stash box coming up here. And it looks like there's a ranger station here and then this one there too. So let's get to that cache uh, right there. Oh. There's a generator over here. I hear people. They're around here somewhere. Anyway, I wonder if this changed anything on the inside. Oh, I can switch realities here. Okay. Yep, there's a manuscript page. Cool. Awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and save it. 
And I'm going to... Oh, wrong button. Uh, Bright Falls. The 81st annual Deer Fest was just around the corner. Everyone in Bright Falls was bustling. There were banners to be hung, pies baked, deer masks sold. Bright Falls had made the top 100 American small town lists for its modest rustic charm. The town expected a lot of tourists this year, but a shadow hung over the Deer Fest preparations. The forecast promised rain, fearful whispers promised more murders. The police were on high alert. Sheriff Breaker had deputies patrolling the streets at night. Bright Falls was no stranger to odd happenings, but to cancel Deerfest? Out of the question. The townsfolk were anxious, their anticipation mixed with fear. People had restless dreams. The lights seemed dimmer. Flood water pressed in on the town, and the shadows poured in with it. Okay. All right. Wait, let's take a look at this real quick, actually. Manuscript pages. So we found 8 of 12. That one, invitation, we found 4 of 6, 8 of 12, 11 of 15. Return. So we're still missing 3. Summoning. Odin loses an eye. Turn 7. So we're missing, let's see, 1, 2, 3. Nothing on 4. 7. So 4 must be what we don't want to go to Alan for. Okay. Anyway, let's just go ahead and continue on. Oh. Got the doggy there. So they're murder puppy. What? Rude. Oh gosh, this is difficult. Yeah, right in the hip. Lay down. Get wrecked. Hey, you... Yes, give me my arrow. You drop something for me as well, my arrow. Let's see if this arrow actually is over here as well. Yep. Okay, cool. Alright. Um, I saw the... Yeah, the stuff here. Jeez! Gosh. Scared the piss out of me. Holy crap. Another Big jerk. Box. Another locked box. Okay. Light. Okay. Wait, why can't I? Let's take a look at that. Oh, I can't even see it. The damn <laughs> it's in my way. Okay, so this might be another one of the ones where you have to like look around. Okay, yeah, here we go. Um. So we've got the triangle side by side. Um. Triangles uh, on top of each other. Oh, and then those there. Okay. Can this thing despawn so I can see, please? That'd be great. I can't see anything. <laughs> okay, so... Okay. Yeah, I just fumbled around with that just to, you know, till I figured it out. But what was that? Anyway that as well i couldn't i just couldn't see the damn thing so <laughs> we just got word that the feds have alan wake in custody he came out of the lake he's dangerous everyone be on high alert we need to take the rider out to spread the word so they're actively going after alan wake okay um so what was that that we just got rifle ammo oh we still haven't got the rifle yet <gasps> wait we need to go back wait where's the doorknob we need to get the doorknob Listen, this might be an exploration episode because we need that doorknob to go get the rifle. I don't know where the doorknob would be, but we're going to have to find it. Okay, so here's the ranger station. Also some chungus up there. Let's take care of him first. I don't want any trouble right now. Oh, there's a cult stash up there. Okay, so he's like hanging out next to it. Okay, there's a couple of them. Light. 
Get crapped on. Okay. Is there anything over here? Doesn't really look like it. Okay. Let's get back up to the stash box. But yeah, we're going to need to find that... Um... The doorknob. So I completely forgot about the rifle. There's another cult stash. Hey, what is this? Chimney. Oh. Is there a chimney on that? Yeah. Oh, probably we're going to be we're going to be the chimney. You guys aren't too bright, are you? I mean, I'll take a rocket scientist to figure that out. I'm per simple. Make them harder. Yeah, I've got something just for you. What about this one? Oh, I can just open this one up too. Okay, cool. What's in here? Hello? Nothing? Okay. Alright, let's take a look around here. Any goodies? Some candy. We'll get us a nice little sugar high. Another rhyme. Oh, there's a rhyme in here. Okay. Let's take a look and see what it says. A child needs their mother to keep them safe and a home as their hiding place because outside the monsters roam and chase when they ring their your doorbell don't yell don't tell them to go away give them treats and pray they won't rock your house down to the ground okay so the child needs to be safe here right then outside i don't really know what because i was my, the thinking is like you give them a treat they'll go away right well this is definitely right because you didn't say anything about that but like Give them treats and pray. We won't rock your house down to the ground. Maybe there's another one we have to find. Let's go and pick that up just in case. Uh, but we'll look around the house and see if we can find another one before we continue that. Well, you know. There we go. Makes sense. Knew it. I don't like that somebody just rang the doorbell. Oh. Missing something? I need. Oh, let's pet the deer. Thing. Um, but oh wait, oh okay, it's over here. A charm. Another coffee cup. Perfect for my bracelet. Oh wait, we need to go to the chimney. Where's the chimney? Doesn't look like there's anything else for us here, though. So, oh, what? Is that not where it's at? Oh, there's some stuff here too. Okay, cool. Uh, Ranger Station One, Bunker Woods Two, Boatyard One. Test sites. Test sites for what? Let's go ahead and do that. Get the clicker to wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. 
But the FBC have him. Bastards. Okay. So we've got... Let's just go ahead and throw these ones in here because these aren't really that important. Uh, we're in Bright Falls, right? Yep. Okay. There's the moral of the story here to feed anyone who rings your doorbell. That was very odd. <laughs> yeah. FPC file listing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Locations are Ranger Station, Bunker Woods, and Boat Yard. So we found two of them. So this is... So one at the Ranger Station, which is where we're at. Two in the Bunker Woods. And one in the Boat Yard. So Boat Yard and Bunker Woods. Um, Bunker Woods and the Boat Yard. Okay, so we haven't been there yet. We found that one, I believe. There's two over there. Okay, so we'll have to go back and look. Okay, what's on this? Manning your stations. It has come to my attention... Wait, this is from Dr. Campbell to Vega and Michaels. It has come to my attention that both of you have left your positions on several occasions while on duty to gallivant around town on personal business. This is unacceptable. You are under strict FBC protocols regarding covertness and confidentiality. And as your supervisor, I am responsible for your conduct at all times. If you find the work boring, too bad. You are to fulfill your roles and duties as I see fit and as the project requires. I'm changing your posts. I'll be overseeing the watery area as it now has the most test sites to cover. The Ranger cabin will be my base of operations. Vega, you are moving to Cauldron Lake's Witch Finding Station. Witch Finder Station. Michaels, you are staying in the Bright Falls Station. I don't want to hear any excuses, but I do need you to acknowledge these orders. Dr. Eugene Campbell, PhD lead researcher. Okay. Uh, from Vega to Dr. Campbell. Dr. Campbell acknowledged and understood that goes for the both of us, Michaels and me. It really was not. I w it really was not gallivanting, as you put it, though, as I was attacked by some rabid animal out there in the woods, and Michaels helped me get my medical attention in town. You should know all that if you read your messages, of course. In any case, orders received. Okay, well, so we got a boss that doesn't have any freaking clue what to do. Okay, so there's something to do with the the chimney. I believe anyway, because the stash said the chimney. Nah. Or oh, just washing up in the chimney like somebody should have hit it. But yeah, I don't know. I figured it would be like on the mantle or hanging under, like up inside the chimney or something. But no. No, here we are. It took me forever to figure out the hint wasn't Santa's butt. <laughs> These guys are so dumb. Why are we making this so complicated? Just give us normal keys. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that as well. I guess we can stack that. Oh, no, we can't. Wait, what are those? What are those? What's the difference with those? Rocket flare. Hand flare. No, okay. Well. Okay, so there's two. Um, There's going to be two up here and one down here. But we also need to go back to the wellness center to get the rifle. Which we're going to need to go and dump some stuff off. Which there's something right here we can do. I'm going to go back here and dump some stuff off. We're going to go back to the wellness center and see what we can figure out about the rifle. We have some intruders. Pies. Got a few of them actually. Sit down, boy. Ammo. All sorts of stuff. Okay, so... This part of the map is so glitchy. I don't like it at all. I'm, like, losing frames every time I turn. Okay, so... I think the... Doorknob's gonna be in here, because there is a riddle... Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Alright, yeah, it was like, meet you at the greet inside a glass fence where pretty flowers bloom and this yeah okay something along those lines i reread the uh, the email so cool let's go ahead and get over and put this in so we can get this rifle i cleared out a bunch of inventory space so we should be okay Boink. 
There we go. You know, we could have just pushed it open, but you know, here we are. Is this manuscript page? Ooh, nice. Oh, look at the puppy. The cult storms the lodge. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and listen to this real quick. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Koskula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the Fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. Okay, so that was right before they overran the lodge. And... Yeah, okay. Inventory full. There we go. Ready for a friggin' fight. Let's do this. Cool. Now I can, like, put... Um, oh, it's rub the deer head. Now I can put some other now. stuff away. I think I also put all of the rifle ammo into the box, so that's gone as well. Uh, we'll have to get back to a box to do that. All right, so we've got this rifle all quick slotted up. Our inventory is clean, good to go. All right, this, this episode is probably jumping around a lot, and I apologize for that, but there's so much stuff that we missed, and... But now we're going to, okay, well, I got to wait till we get outside. Um, we're going to get down uh, to those two areas where it said that there's the poems because I don't really need the charms because it seems like most of them now are just the coffee cups that just break and you don't lose anything whenever you die or something like that, which is cool. But <sighs> come on, I don't want to be in the wellness center anymore. I'm not in the wellness center. Please, please just. <sighs> there we go. Okay. So we'll come down here. We're going to go to Bunker Woods, Billy's Boatyard. Looks like we found everything along here. There might be some of the lunch boxes around this area, but let's go to Bunker Woods, Billy's Boat How or Billy's Boatyard, and then we'll uh now we'll continue on from there. That's right, boys. This rifle is friggin' awesome. Did we already get this one? Yes, we did. Okay, so there's this one here. We already got that one. Okay, oh, now we should be able to upgrade a rifle. Even though we don't have enough stuff for it because we haven't found anything since the last upgrade, but now we can keep a lookout for more sting shot, which can get you more of the upgrades so we can make the rifle even better. Okay, so I looked around the one area and didn't find anything else. So we are now at the boatyard. Um, had to kill a few people along the way, but, you know, it is normal. Okay, also collecting a good amount of ammo right now. But yeah, no lunch boxes, no poems. Um, so don't need any of that garbage. Of course, this was the spot that was flooded when we first came down through here. Uh, this might be a lunchbox right here. Another yes, it is. Those lunch boxes. Cool. Hey, oh, and a manuscript page. Cool. Uh, the woods were dark. I held my breath. I could hear heavy footsteps among, out among the trees. I was scared. My heart beat in my chest like a small bird fluttering against its cage. I shivered. I was cold, too. I saw a sharp shape emerge from the trees. It was a menacing large shape bad shape. It looked at me with evil glowing eyes. I gasped. No. It had seen me. 
I growled and lurched towards me. It did. I ran and ran and ran until running became too hard to do. I couldn't run anymore, so I stopped running. I could feel the monster's hot breath on my neck. I was too afraid to turn around. It was about to get me. I was a goner, for sure. I ran again. I had never been so scared. Not ever. This was the end. I wished someone, anyone, would come to save me. So, these were left by Rose, but what are these stories? Huh. Huh. Maybe we'll find something out about him in here. Rose's, Rose received a message. Maybe. Let's see. <gasps> Return six scratch. Nice. Rose woke up from another dream from her idol. Another message. All through her morning routine, she was humming happily. So happily, she realized she was starting to forget what Alan had told her. Something about a hero who would come to save them all. And the hero. Rose frowned. This won't do, Rose Marigold. You know better than to forget. Something about knitwear. The hero liked it? Rose nodded, determined. She'd use the knitwork to guide the hero to the secret stashes she had hid in the forest to help them. Knitwear to mark the spot. Alan will love that, she thought. Now she only needed the knitwork. Rose thought hard. Mandy May was always knitting. Mandy May would help her. Okay, so that just kind of tells us like that how that whole thing came about. Um, since we're here, let's go ahead and try this. So long range rifle. Okay, so we can do feedback loop. Consecutive successful hits will significantly reduce the time between shots. Stand still to enter an improved focus mode. The mode grants perfect accuracy, pulls shots toward enemy weak spots, and deals increased damage. Let's do that. Saga stood still, emptying her mind, focusing, breathing in, breathing out. She aimed the rifle, ready for the kill shot. So these, it's really cool, like, now. So, basically, Alan's, like, giving Rose these pieces of paper to help Saga get better with her weapons. And she has to find them to put them into the story. That's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. I would also like to know why this type or this part of the game runs like hot garbage, but here we are. I apologize for like the looks like frame drops every time I turn. Uh, okay, fine. Go around. Nope, I can't go around. Never mind. All right, let's look around here. I just think there's just so much going on in this area that it's just causing a little bit of issues with the. Uh, Performance, which is fine. Can't get in there. Oh, we're okay. Yeah, this is like right next to everything. Nice. Here we go. All right. Five little monsters out on the sea, competing to see who the winner will be. They rock their boats to find out who floats until one little monster did fall. Mama called out to the sea and cried, and the sea, she replied, on the bottom, they will rot if they will not stop rocking their boats. Um, so monster there. And the mama. Ugh. Nope. The mother called out. Right? Nah. Nah. Makes sense. There we go. Okay, so the mom was out at sea. That doesn't make sense, but okay. So is this going to be on the boat? I don't think we can get into the boat. The boat? The boat, the boat, the boat. Maybe it'll be out. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So you just ADS in it. Yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. Yes. Can I get out through here? Oh, yeah, that's right. We can just go ahead and cut it from this side. Nice. Okay, cool. So it'll be an easy way to get back out. Uh, but let's find this first. So it's going to be... rifle 
is so badass. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So where is this going to be? Is it going to be on? Oh, okay. Found it. Lots of charms lying around here. Okay, so let's take a look and see what this one is. Chance to stun enemy on flashlight boost. We're putting that one in. For sure. I like that one. Okay. Alright, so I think that's everything. Um, I don't believe that there's two up there because I, I searched around and I didn't find anything. So we're going to go ahead and get back out here. Okay. So what are our objectives? Get, give the clicker to wait, go to the sheriff's station, investigate the previously flooded area. Wait, we already did that, right? Yeah, all the way down through here. Oh, maybe we didn't. We need to go down through here. Okay, let's let's knock that out real quick. I'm an idiot. I forgot because I went to the ranger station then went back around the other way. Didn't circle where I needed to, so. Okay, so there are some of the knitting down here. The knits, the nitwits. You know, I never saw this spot. Oh, another rhyme. Okay, so that's the other rhyme I was talking about then. Okay, I'm just dumb. Okay, to the beach a child went wandering. Pretty shining rocks she's gathering. But from the water a monster rose. A horrible beast with a pointy nose. A flapping wing and dragging toes. The child was wrong. It was her mother all along. On a boat, grabbing a towel that's already gone. Uh, so monster here. Mother on the boat. Child's grabbing shiny things. Mm. Aha! Mm -hmm. Where are you at? Where are you? Where did you go? You whack ass. What are you doing? Okay. Idiot. I think that's all of them. Don't need that. A charm. My What's this one? Valhalla Nursing Home Charm. Increases effectiveness of painkillers and trauma pads. Don't need that. Okay. So many things. Yeah. Have we completed that yet? No, we still haven't even done that. Uh, this is the previously flooded area. I do not. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Oh, but it's literally right in front of me. Okay. Boy, I'm done. Remember that the story won't let anything bad happen to us. Unless it's for good drama. Okay. Alright, cool. Now, has this been successfully... No. Okay, well, let's keep going. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Oh, found another one. It was right next to the, the other one. Right up the hill. I was going to leave you some cookies, but I was worried an animal would get into them, so I didn't. But it's the thought that counts, right? Lulz. Okay. Now is we done? No, he isn't done. Oh, there's a manuscript page down here on the beach. Okay. I know, all sorts of goodies. Coskella break into the FBC lab. Okay, so that's one that we haven't seen yet. When the government seized the land around Cauldron Lake and set up their laboratory there, Ilmo Koskala knew they knew something. Together with his brother, they felt obliged to take a look inside. The Federal Bureau of Control Security was a joke. The Koskalas walked in delivering coffee. Back in Watery, they pored over the stack of files they grabbed. The FBC was researching something in the lake, something they called the Shadow. Everyone who went into the lake came back a monster. Hartman had gone into the lake. He'd come back bad. 
the FBC had captured him, interrogated him. Based on his ravings, Barbara Jagger had gone into the lake as far back as the 60s. She'd come back bad. The writer, Alan Wake, had gone into the lake. He'd faced Jagger, pushed some mystic light switch into a hole in her chest, flicked the switch, and gotten rid of her. If Wake ever came back, he was bound to be bad as well. Okay. So they thought that, well, the story thinks that Alan could be bad. Okay. Is that it? Nope. There's still more stuff around here. Okay. I'm going to search around for a bit again, still, and see if we can find anything else. I've been back through a pretty good amount of the area where I've already been, but I'm continuing to find stuff that I haven't found previously. So, okay, because we searched... Uh, we started here. We searched all along here. Um, so far, we came up through here. Um, there's still some stuff maybe through this area, but I think that this whole area is the flooded area. So, yeah, we're just going to keep searching around. Hopefully, find some more stiff. Okay, so I have literally searched that whole area twice. I haven't found anything else. So, we're coming back here. So, we need to go to the sheriff station. But first, since I've just been wandering around this whole time, uh, where's the actual, uh, so there's a locked door in there. It's also a, something I need bolt cutters for back there. Oh, there's a cult stash right here. What? Seriously? Another one of those cult boxes. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Triangle, center, top right. Stupid easy. Thank you. Fear the dark, fear the woods. Mm, no. Pass. Okay. Can we get back in here to see if we can get into that locked door? Possibly. Let us check. are absolutely amazing. She's still down there after everything. Hello? Okay, you just you have fun with that. Hello? It doesn't budge. Okay, so that's is that is that it? Is that that door? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, you, you have fun breaking down that door. Let's go. So somewhere around here, there should be... Wait. Am I dumb? Did I, did I go to the wrong spot? I did. It's on the other side. Okay. Let's go around the building to get to here. Boink. Another cult stash. Okay. 
work log January 1st overprivileged town hall folks complaining about poor TV reception hopefully not due to the paint job January 17th took a photo with the giant moose statue in the park great memento damn dogs keep digging up the flowers February 2nd February 31st park trash needs a fresh coat of park trash cans need a fresh coat of paint painted an extra layer tired painting tried painting the large tree in the park but the weather was too hot cooled down on a bench in the sheltered area and had a, an epiphany replaced a screw on the purple park bench so this is where all this is going to be I can't keep all that in my brain I guess I'll have to screenshot it put it up on my other monitor okay so the first one is overprivileged town hall folks so town hall wait, what? wonder which place is town hall well there's town hall but it's blocked off i guess we'll take a look at it and see but i don't think we can actually get anywhere oh we can okay Okay, I don't I've never I've not been over here before. Uh okay. So we've got the two triangles that are side by side and overlapped. Okay. You remember how it went last time? The sacrifices we made? The pain is happening again. <gasps> Wait. The lunchbox are in here somewhere. Okay, so there's this here. Wait, there's there's also one back there, but this one here is uh tried painting a tree, large tree in the park. Pulled down on a bench in a sheltered area and had an epiphany. Okay, so that's that one. Okay. But then there's also this We learned from the last time didn't Okay, so there's this one here where this crazy lady's talking. Through it, held fast. And now look at us. The damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. Okay, now there's supposed to be a... There's also... There's these. There's these. I need to find the lunchbox. But there's supposed to be a giant moose statue. Another lunchbox. Okay, so here's this. You wouldn't believe how hard it was to track down these lunchboxes. Thank goodness for the internet. Cool. You know... Um... I need to find a moose. Wait. So we've got... That one there. That one there. That one there. So there's three of them. But none of the other ones are around here. So that's probably the three that we need. Instead of, you know, wandering around and trying to figure this out, this is probably all that we need. Okay. So I took pictures of those as well. And I believe they're just going to be in order. It's just easier for me to remember this way. Um, and then... At least we don't have a stupid dead dog getting in the way. Monsters live in the woods. I guess we'll just take those. It's fine. Okay. Cool. Found that. Is there anything else around town? I don't... I think that's the last... Oh, wait. There's a cult stash there. Okay. Yeah. Let's grab that. Then we're going to go to the Elderwood uh, Place Lodge. Or no. Police station. We'll go to the police station after that. Oh, pow. I'm so happy that we got the bolt cutters. There's still stuff inside of the uh, police station that we need the bolt cutters for as well. And open that up. Okay, so there's gonna be a cult stash maybe in here. Another cult box. Yep. Cool. One, two, three. It's gonna be something out in the pier. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look out into the water. Fishes are biting again. Yeah. I didn't like all that hubbub earlier. Poor things. Yeah. Okay, so seven. I saw a seven on that. How do we see that though?
interesting. Maybe there's some of the ones around here. I don't see anything on that one. Nine. So nine looks like the top. So nine and seven was like bottom right, maybe? I don't see the other one. Okay, process of elimination. We got it. What's this? If you steal from the cult, then the cult will steal from you. Oh, is this more? Oh, thank the Lord. We've got more space in our inventory. Sweet. So we can start moving stuff around. Very nice. I love that. All right. Cool. Okay. So now we can get up to the sheriff's station and figure out what's going on with Alan. Okay, so I just put in all of like the uh, Alex Casey lunchboxes, poems, and cult stashes into the the board in uh, our mind place, and we're only missing one lunchbox in this area and one cult stash. Um, I looked at the map; I didn't see the other cult stash. The rest of them were marked, so there might be one inside of here. Um, as far as the lunchbox, not sure. But I do know that we've gotten all of the poems in this area now, so. Scratch. Power's out. Always a good sign. All right. Love that. Okay. Let's take a They're look around. Inside. Holding cells. Is that where they're keeping Wake? Probably. Okay, so we need a key for that. So we've been in here before. Yeah, okay. Anything here? Anyone here? I'm here in the closet. Interesting. What a place to hide in 2024. Okay. Um Agent Estevez? Is that you? Anderson? Did I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. Watch. Looks like my legs busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, there is a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the shadow, and if you a don't- A taken. Yeah. I'll handle it. Okay. You in here? Yeah. <laughs> Taken care of. What's done is done. Let us go. Okay, do I talk to you again? We did it. All clear, Estevez. That leg doesn't look good. It feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. We should talk. What happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? Language. Uh, Come on. We came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake, but it's worse than we could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, boondoggle. my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. Uh, I'm looking for Where Wake. Is Wake. I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. We have him locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the shadow in some way. Okay. Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him. Out in the woods. He had a close encounter with the shadow, and it did something to him. Is he okay? Oh no. He's alive. We took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the morgue. What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The shadow is stronger than we expected. We're low on resources. Problems at HQ. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. Estevez. I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. You'll need these keys. Okay. 
Yes, let me phase through the door and grab the keys. Back into the morgue, huh? Fantastic. Okay. Let's head over here. Case board. Uh, let's see. Story. Still can't do anything with that. Um, not sure why. Probably have to go into uh, Alan's stuff. Okay. Get Wake out of custody. Station's been attacked. Okay. Alright. Um, wake status. Okay. All right, um, cell block door is locked. What? Okay. That's fine. Has nothing to do with the status, I guess, but that's fine. Okay, then we'll go ahead and read through these real quick. The cell door won't open without power. Okay, this isn't good. Wake better be alive. Well, they're not wrong as far as that. Hopefully Wake's safe in there. I need to go open the door. Time to fix another power outage. Use a box in the basement. Let's hope it's nearby. Okay. Okay, yeah. I mean, we have literally just been running around fixing power this whole time. Man, everybody's dude. There we go. Yes, yes. Face away from the door. You read me, Anderson. I read you. Have you had our frequency this entire time? Eavesdropping is a big part of the job. But no, I got it from your partner. Anderson, look for a fuse to replace the blown out one in the fuse box. That should get the power going again. Yeah. On it. I keep forgetting that that will do the whole freaking thing where I <laughs> it focuses. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't get into that, but we can get in here. So stinking dark. Another Holy locked crap. box. This is the cult stash. It's the last cult stash here, right? What is that supposed to mean? Line triangle. Uh, what? Okay. Well, I guess we'll try to figure that out. Maybe it's a cult stash that the police found. And locked up there, but why wouldn't they have opened it to see what was going on? There's a shoebox here. So this will eventually be a safe room, maybe? Save it. Don't need that. Okay. That's not good. Stay the fuck. Casey. Dude. Is that you? Anderson. Hold your fire. I'm coming in. Where are you at? Where are you at? I'm missing something here. He is nowhere to be found. Where's he at? Oh, he's right there. Holy crap. <laughs> hey, Anderson. Like what I've done with the place? Hmm. Could use a bit more light. <sighs> Funny. A bit more light. How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just a, it's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a, a nice chat about ex-wives with uh, Karen. Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, <sighs> huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the situation on your end? Mm, you can profile him now. Nice. Watery turned out to be a good lead. Found the clicker and the cult. But the horror story is changing reality. 
Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh... The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What do you, um... Logan is gone. She has been. For a long time. Casey's affected by the horror story, too. I'm fighting for them all now. What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence, it's real, too. I saw it. A fucked up monster cloud. Wake tried to warn me. It knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You, Logan, all of it. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah, give him hell, Anderson. Just remember, some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. As for the power problem, here. I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. I'll take care of it. Stay put, Casey. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't expect any of this. Okay. Um, we need to... So profiling. See, do we have enough to upgrade this again? Holds penetrate the enemy's darkness shield. Oh my gosh, yes. Through the scope, Saga could see the flickering darkness that protected the Taken. Saw it waver and jerk. Saw a shifting opening in it. There, she fired, sending the bullet through to find its way home. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Okay, profiling on Casey. Casey's condition. I can tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. So the darkness is overtaking Casey. Hey, dude, I need to talk to you. I wonder what's going to happen when we turn this on there with the light. Or what's going to affect him at all. Anderson, good news, bad news. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. Okay, so nothing with Casey there, okay. Why did that spin me around? Oh, wrong button. I want them. There it is. I want this because I don't want to use my flashlight. I think that's all of them. Okay, now can I talk to Casey? No. Okay. Um, cult stash. I need to figure that out. It's gonna bug the PS out of me. Um. Go. Okay. Oh, we can get into this over here. What you got? Ammo. Take that. More coming down. Dude, I love the fact that I can just do that with this gun. Can I have more rifle ammo? Coming back up. Copy. Okay, let's save it here. Um. Oh, this cult stash, this cult stash. I need to see if I can figure this out. Is there anything, any indication in here as to what it would be? So line, wait, do we even look at this? No, it's just numbers. Wait, one, one, two, three, four, six, one, four, six. Am I just an idiot? 
<laughs> yeah, oh, it's just me. I'm just an idiot. Hark, 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 hark. Beware of the cult of the tree. You know what? Let's take that too. I got plenty of space now. Okay. Um. Yeah, that should be the last one here then. Uh, cult stashes. Bright Falls area. Boom. Finished. Cool. Nice. See, so we're still missing one there. One there. So only two more. Oh. Oh. I feel like we're getting close. Still got a whole bunch of Alan story to do. We'll do in the next episode, but I'm just having fun. I've also been recording for well over two hours at this point, so uh, this is gonna be a long one, guys. Strap in. Anderson, over here, behind the counter. Got yeah. A little cramped in that closet. What's going on? We had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the cult of the tree. Don't let your guard down. Is the FBC sending any help? <sighs> we were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. What's at the lake house? It's a bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. Wish me luck. According to the luck and probability department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. Thanks for that. Oh, can I get... Oh, we've already done that. Yeah, we've already been on the computer. Let's just more stuff. Kill the make some mo. Yeah, that's all that. An electrical lock system with no fail safe. Smart. I thought we'd already done that. Wait, where does that go? What? Waking the clicker. Oh, maybe there is stuff that I need to actually look at on that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Security measures. I understand there's a need to keep the arrested folks under lock and key, but who the heck is paranoid madman who decided we need every other door in the facility to be geared with the latest high-tech top security nonsense? This stuff is not safe. One power outage and those locks aren't budging. Okay, so we've definitely seen these. Uh, those were like one of the first couple episodes that we did. Okay, so that we just had to reread for the, the case board. Saga! Fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us. Language, Push dude. Out. You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin everything. Get rid of him, Saga. You fucking shut me. Typical government stooge. I'll shoot you again, dude. Let me out so I can kill him. That fucker. You come to our town and act like you know what you're dealing with, but you have no fucking idea. Let us out! You can't stop it. None of you can. We can take care of this. We've been preparing for this. You guys can, uh, Ligma. Okay, so I can't get into there. I want to get into there, though. Okay, so we found that manuscript page. Let's look at this before we talk to, uh, to, to Wake. Is there something over here? No. Okay, unread. Agent Young held his clipboard up to the light. The equipment was all accounted for. He ticked the boxes, satisfied. A noise on the other side of the back lot made him pause. He peered into the darkness. Nothing. Shrugging, he signed and dated the form. Estevez wanted everything ready, just in case. Young appreciated a cautious leader. Estevez had held it together even after the oldest house had gone dark. Young began to head inside. The local sheriff station was a tight fit, but at least they had a coffee machine. Young felt optimistic. They even had the para-utilitarian in custody already. Another clatter behind him. Closer this time, he turned hand on his holster. He called out to the darkness. This station has been seized by the Federal Bureau of Control. You're not authorized to be here. Suddenly, the lights flickered, went off. Young couldn't see a thing. Then from inside the station, 
the screams began. Okay, so is that that's what happened <coughs> whenever yeah, the sheriff stations got attacked. That's two of three there, so we only need one more for those for the scratch, okay. Alan. Saga. Do you have it? You wrote Logan into the story. You told me yourself from the dark place. Listen, Scratch is coming. He's, he's close. He's almost here. He's... My daughter is dead because of you. She's a child. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to fix this. I will fix this. I'll save everyone, but we're running out of time. I need the clicker. I have the clicker. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry! Don't fucking give it to him! Get it, get it. He's a fucking monster, Saga! There it is. We've been waiting for you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking destroy you! Child taken by the tide. 